to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing and to die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say that we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep. Perchance to dream, ah, uh, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity a so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns which patient merit of the unworthy takes, when he himself might his quietus make was a bare bodkin. Who would fartles bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no travel is eternal, puzzles the world, makes us rather bear those ills we have and fly to others we know not of. Thus conscience doth make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sickly o'er with the pale cast of thought. <coughs> and enterprises of great pith and moment, with this regard, their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Thank <laughs> you.